with the 10th annual 4-H Endowment Legacy Dinner just around the corner, I am going to visit with two past 4-H members who are heavily involved on the 4-H Endowment Committee and just hang on for a minute, come right back, and we're going to hear from them why this annual fundraiser is so important. Welcome to the 88.9 WLRY Farm page and uh, the extension update. And gosh, what a what a day. I got my good friends with me. Uh, I have Ron Ruff with me, and I have my good friend Steve Eversoll with me. We were kind of in 4-H at the same time, weren't we, guys? Yes, yeah, we were in the 70s. So in the 70s, yeah, mm -hmm. we were. We were there. Yeah, so what project did you take there? Mr. Eversoll. Well, we, we had, I was lucky enough to grow up on a production livestock farm, and we sure were able to share both uh, market hog, breeding hogs, and also we were a, a sheep farmer. Wow. So we had uh, lamb, that we showed both breeding lamb and market lamb both. Oh, do you have a favorite building at the Fairbrook County Fairgrounds? Oh, boy, that goes way back. They were, you know, a lot, some of them were tents when we were there. <laughs> yeah. They you were tents, so weren't they? Yeah. What yeah. a long way the fairgrounds has come in. 40 years now. Yeah. So, you know, they've been a lot of improvements in that part. But, you know, it was always fun to take, and not only the ones that you were, that your livestock was in, you got to see and take care of them, but the friendships that you made and got to go around and visit them through the fair. Yeah. And those friendships have continued on since, you know, 40 plus years ago till today. Right. Ron, you were like up on the hill. You were in the horse barn. You we were, were in the, the Cadillac of barns, weren't you? <laughs> we, we had some nice barns, yeah. You had nice barns, didn't you? Yes, but when I very first started, we had tents the first couple of years. You did? Absolutely. Where were they at? Uh, they were just down from the cattle barn where the uh, show arena is right now. Oh, That's where the gosh. tents were before those barns were in. I forgot all about that. It was only short-lived because there were some weather issues and the horses and the tents did not mix. Did back not then. mix. So we were able to get into the permanent barns. Yeah. And we all kind of took part in those. And while I was, you know, of course, the beef tent. That was a cool tent. That was a cool tent to be in, you know. <laughs> that was the one to be in. But then we all took part in, like, the 4-H camp. We all had that really cool 4-H experience, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we had, you know what I mean, it was always one of the highlights of the summer. If you look to yeah. for the 4-H camp, you got to go visit with your friends. Do you only saw, you know what I mean, once or twice? We didn't have all the social media today, yeah, right? And you wouldn't mean, and you, you had that just a one line at the house. You couldn't get a hold yeah. of anybody and everything else. And so yeah. you got to interact with them for four or five days at Tar Hollow. Yeah. And it was really interesting in our family because my dad was even in there in the forties. Oh, he was. He was talks about Tar Hollow to this day, how it was, and you would have mean. And when my kids did 4-H yeah. too, so and they did 4-H camp, and it was so interesting that. You know, it's just a flashback in time to go back and see oh, Tar Hollow yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think I remember Tar Hollow as, uh, gosh, it was just like, you got to be an adult. You know, you got to try that mm -hmm. adult thing for, and you got to be a counselor, and you thought you were on your own, and that was pretty cool stuff. That was big stuff at the time. But now here we are, 40 plus years later, and we all are looking for ways to still kind of be in 4-H. To be involved, yes. To be involved. Mm -hmm. But we're, our arms and legs aren't as strong as they used to be. We can't climb the hills at Tar Hollow anymore very no. easily. No. And we barely can lap the fairgrounds <laughs> two or three times. But we're so cool. We're so cool. And so we're giving back. You, my friend, are the president of the Fairfield County 4-H Endowment Committee. Why are you doing that? All the other That's, things you do, Ron. I just find it it's just so important to be involved and uh, just looking at the youth that we have out there in our in our participate in our four H programs. It's just so uh, overwhelming and so great. It's, it's so yeah. passionate that you want to do this for them. Yeah, yeah. How about you? What, what's it's, your what's your? It's been it was meant so much to me. I made friendships and actually business partnerships through four H that still yeah. go on to this day. And I see what positive people come out of 4-H that as I am at my own company now, we're employing people, 
and my best hires over the years have all been agriculture related kids 4-H FFA and they're just top flight kids that we're all kind of frustrated with the youth out there but when you see 4-H and what is out there what stellar prize wonderful people we are coming up through the system it's amazing yeah. and it's a means of giving back to take and like you said we can't run the hills anymore no. but we can take and you know through the 4-H endowment we're building a legacy there yeah. that can live on past us and continue to perpetuate the existence of 4-H in Fairfield County for well past our livelihood. So Ron, the 4-H Endowment Committee, you're president of that, and, and we have a big big deal coming up, our only fundraiser. Our, our, our major fundraiser each year is our legacy dinner. Yeah. Yes. So how, how many people do you anticipate will come to that, that event? Historically, we've had 250 plus. We're anticipating and making plans for it could reach 300 this year. Wow. And for our listeners, um, for the first time ever, we're celebrating our 10th year anniversary. We're going back to the fairgrounds. How cool yeah. is that, guys? Yeah. Where 4-H is and belongs to and is there for. Yeah. And guess what? No tents, guys. No tents. No no so it can rain. It could snow in June, and we don't care. There are no tents. No portable toilets. No portable. Exactly. <laughs> exactly yeah. right. So um, it is Thursday, June 13th, yes. 2018. 19. Oh my gosh, I forgot. 19. See, 19. <laughs> it's even the mind is going. <laughs> um, and it's at 6 p.m. At the Ed Sands, correct? That is correct. Yes. Okay, so now give me the, what does it cost to come? Uh, it is $40 a person, or a table of eight can be purchased for $400. Yeah. And uh, we everybody's invited, and uh, we're going to have some special uh, treats for that night. Yeah, and it's not an invitation only. As you said, everyone can come. Everybody's invited, yes. We everybody want can. as many Reach people Reach out come. to us, you know, Connie, myself or on the blog or this part yeah. there'll be the contact information here at the end of this yeah and please reach out we would like to we hope 300 we'd like to go for 400. yeah well and the blog u.osu.edu 4-h legacy take a look at that there are sponsorship opportunities if you want to be a part of that now i've seen you in the food line mr Eversole. It is a very special night, yes. I yeah. do enjoy a good I see meal. a bounded plate. It is is that the truth? Yeah, it is, that, yes, that is all fruit. Believe that. All, it's all fruit? <laughs> yes. Are you kidding me? Yes. $40 and you eat fruit? No, no, no. <laughs> okay. They really need to come. There, there's, you know, each uh, breed that we have, lamb that is just phenomenal. Pork loin is to die for, beef brisket and chicken. So yeah. we have all the proteins covered along with some wonderful sides. And it's just, I think it's almost a competition between the different species to which you can have the best. Yeah. And, it and is you know really what's really special. cool about this, and I don't think people get this part of it, but for us, because we're behind the scenes, we're like really working hard on the Legacy Dinner. We have 4-H alum that are cooking the uh, pork loins. We have 4-H alum families that are cooking, cooking the beef brisket. That's a first for us this year. Mm -hmm. Plus we have a 4-H advisor doing the lamb. 4-H mm -hmm. folks baking our cakes, mm -hmm. longtime 4-H members and they give back to our folks. And then a 4-H advisor who is our caterer. So it's really a night all about 4-H. Thursday, June 13th, Fairfield County Fairgrounds, Ed Sands Building, $40 per plate. I promise you, this it's guy will leave you a little brisket. I yeah. promise you. Oh, Weldon's ice cream. And dessert table, too. Yeah, yes. yeah. Appetizers, cake and, ice cream. cake and ice cream. We can't miss that. Come join us. My good friend, Steve Eversole, Ron Ruff, Thursday, June 13th, the 10th annual celebration of the Fairfield County endowment legacy dinner we'd love to see you there this has been connie smith smith with osu extension with my good friends from the endowment board please join us it's all for the kids thank you